Hey there, welcome to this day one of AWS Cloud for Beginners with me, Atul Kumar from Team K21 Academy. So let me set uh, the scene what to expect in today. So there'll be you'll be seeing the three uh, lessons. The first lesson we'll talk about is cloud overview, where I'll tell you about what the cloud means um, on for, from a basics beginners point of view. Then on lesson two, we'll go on cloud service model, which is an infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. We'll also look at the examples of these platform as a service, infrastructure service, and software as a service. Then in third, second lesson, we'll also look at the cloud deployment model, public cloud, private cloud, and hybrid cloud. An example of private cloud, which is AWS Outpost and hybrid cloud. And in third and final lesson of today, we'll be looking at cloud vendors. So where does AWS stands for in terms of comparison to the other cloud vendors? And we'll briefly touch base with the services as well in AWS services, but I'll also give you a step-by-step -step procedure to create a free account that will be on lesson three. So make sure you create a free account if you don't have already, that will help you to understand or walk through on day two, day three, day four, when we look at the services, you can walk through on uh, that as well. So we'll cover that in lesson three. But before we go further, uh, if you have not introduced yourself in Telegram group, go and introduce yourself in Telegram group. And also at end of this today, make sure that you inform or update in Telegram group that have completed day one so that I understand that you are making progress. So now let's first look at the cloud overview. What is the meaning of cloud when we say talk about what exactly is cloud? So let's first look at what is overview of cloud computing. Now, if you look at the definition of cloud computing, cloud computing is nothing but delivery of computing services like your servers, which could be a virtual machine or dedicated servers or storage, different type of storage, databases, networking, and tools and softwares which are available over the internet. And we'll show a little bit later how you're going to access. I'm going to show you how to create a virtual machine or database or network or servers or on AWS console. So cloud computing enable or consume the compute resources such as servers, storage, or an application um, similar to what you use for water and electricity in terms of in a pay as you go model rather than building from scratch, you just use them and pay what you use similar to what you do in current world and for electricity or water. Now, if you look at the cloud computing definition, a cloud computing is a model for en enabling conveniently on demand network access to a shared pool of configurable resources, as I said earlier, like network storage application services that can be rapidly provisioned or released. If the demand goes down, you return it back to the cloud uh, provider with a minimal management effort or service provider interaction. So you never one-on-one -on -one interact with a cloud service provider. You do it from the console on a self-service basis. Now, this cloud computing is composed of five, basically five essential characteristics, which we'll see in a minute, three service models and four deployment models. So what these are, so first is the essential characteristics. As I said earlier, it's a uh, resource pooling, which means there might be multiple servers and which is a pool of servers or pool of network or pool of storage from which you get your resources. And the resources is basically on demand using on demand cell service, which we'll see that again a little bit later, uh, how I'm going to provision these resources. Then these major services, which means how much I'm using, I can measure that or I can provision as, as required. Rapid elasticity, which means as my request increases, or as my demand increases, I can increase the resources. And as demand goes down, I can reduce that resources as well. And then broad different ways to access over the network. So these are some of the basic essential characteristics of cloud computing. There are three service models, which is software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure service. And in that you have a four deployment model, public, private, hybrid, and there's a fourth one, which is community. I'll cover these um, in the subsequent lessons. So we'll look at these service models and deployment models in our next lesson. So I'll see you in next lesson talking about service models and deployment models. 
Well, guys, this was our cloud expert, Mr. Atul from Team K21 Academy. And this clip is taken from our free course on AWS Cloud for Beginners. In this free course, we'll be covering multiple topics like cloud service and deployment model, AWS infrastructure and service overview, compute, storage and networking, databases, automation, config and monitoring, DevOps and architecture, and most importantly, you'll be gaining access to our bonus that is certification path and multiple, multiple job opportunities. So even if you are somebody who is experienced or a working professional in cloud, then this course will be very helpful to revise your skills and you'll be gaining access to multiple job opportunities. And of course, if you are a newbie, then this course will help you to have a better cloud future. And so now if you want to enroll for this free course, then you just have to log on to k21academy.com forward slash AWS. You'll be seeing this kind of interface. So you just have to click on enroll for free, add your name, your email address, and our team will reach out to you. And you'll be seeing this kind of interface on your emails where you'll be gaining access to the login credentials where you can log in and you'll be getting to know how our training portal works. Once you've enrolled, you can share this out with your friends and family as well. Hoping to see you in the free course. Till then, take care and keep learning.